Hello guys, welcome you back to my program Cooking with Lady A. Follow me guys to my kitchen. Let me show you how I'm able to make this delicious pot of obono and okra soup. Right now I'm gonna be adding in my palm oil. I will leave to hot for a few minutes, then I will add in the onions. After adding the onions, I will have to leave and stir for like two minutes before adding in other ingredients like the obono and blended crayfish. Make sure you stir together for it not to stick on the bottom of the pot. Stir and stir and stir and leave to cook for about two to three minutes while you keep on stirring. So right now we're gonna be adding in our dried fish. We still have to stir together and leave for some minutes. Keep on stirring guys. Keep on stirring. You can see that it's like the oven and the oil and the fish have already stick together because I gave it little time to try. Right now we're gonna be adding some water into it. If you like you can use hot water so that the pot will not get cold and need more time to start boiling again. So you stir together to make sure that there are no lumps of the oven on it. Stir and stir and stir until you see that it's all planned. We have left to boil for some minutes. Now I am adding in my steamed meat. So we stir together, leave to boil for some time. We added in the left onions that I did not fry with the palm oil and some fresh pepper. We stir together and leave to boil like 10 minutes or 15, depending on the quantity of the water and the soup you are making. So right now I am stirring to make sure that the obono did not stick to the bottom of the soup. Once in a while you have to keep on stirring because obono soup is not an easy one to cook. If you don't take your time, it will burn. So I'm giving you another test that will not be exactly the test that you want. So after stirring, we're going to be adding in our okra, which I have already cut and left in the freezer. I will also be adding in my periwinkle. And after that, I will stir together and leave to boil for like two minutes because it's already been kept in the freezer. It's already soft because of the frozen nature of it. So we stir together and then add other ingredients that are left, like the pepper, which I'll be adding as soon as possible. Just keep on watching guys. If today is your first day of coming across my video, you are highly welcome. To my returnees, thank you very much for always coming back to watch my videos. And those of you who have already subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. So, if you have not subscribed, please kindly hit the red button and subscribe to my channel. When you do that, do not forget to press the notification bell so that whenever I'll be uploading a new video, you'll be one of those to watch it first. You can see that I added in the pepper, salt, and then this is Ozusa leaf, which is what I am using today. But you can use any other kind of leaf that you want, or you can easily cook it plain without adding any fresh or dried leaf. 
So our cooking has come to an end. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye. Mwah.